This example is from Notes on Diffie Q by Level. It's an open source textbook for differential equations. And this is example 1.3.3. This is dealing with coffee. The coffee is initially 89 degrees Celsius. And after one minute, it's 85 degrees Celsius. We're given the ambient temperature of the room. And the question is, when should Bob start drinking if he wants it to get to 60 degrees Celsius? Well, that tells me I'm going to be talking about T, as in temperature. And it's going to be a function of time. I think this is going to be a Newton's Law of Cooling problem. This is the equation that I've asked you to memorize. This is a little bit different than the way the textbook has it. They have, instead of Tm, they have the letter A, and they have A minus T as opposed to T minus Tm. So we'll see if we get the same answer. Let's see what I know. I know the temperature of the air around is 22 degrees. I know initially the temperature is 89 degrees, and after one minute it's going to be 85 degrees. We're going to use this to find our K value. Our K depends on the median that the coffee is cooling in. I'm assuming we're on Earth, and it has to do with the cooling properties of air. But in order to find k exactly, we're going to use the 89 and 85 in 0 and 1 to find that out. We're going to separate our variables. It's a little confusing because I have big T and little t, but little t is time and capital T is temperature. And I'm going to now integrate both sides. I've dropped the absolute value bars from my natural log because I know t minus tk is a positive number. And then I'm going to exponentiate both sides, that is do e to the both sides. And again, I've changed e to the c to yet another c. And finally, I'll solve for t. And I'll plug in my value for tm. So before I find k, I'm going to first have to find my constant c. I'll use my initial condition for that, just like I've done in the past. And we'll find that c is equal to 67. Now what we're going to use is our second data point to find the k. What I'll need to do to find k in this case is take the natural log of both sides, and I find that k is equal to negative 0 0.0616. And this exactly matches what Level has in his book. He set it up a little bit differently. His differential equation is e to the negative kt, but then when he solved for k, he got a positive value. It doesn't matter which method you use, you still get the same answer in the end but I haven't yet answered the question. The question was, when should Bob start drinking his coffee? Well, he wants it at 60 degrees, so now we're gonna to have to solve for T. So now I'm gonna solve for T. I'll have to take the natural log of both sides again and then divide both sides by negative 0 0.0616, and I come up with 9.21 minutes. That is, after 9.21 minutes, the coffee should be approximately 60 degrees, and Bob will be happy to drink it then.